morning, good Monday, February 1st, 2010. I'm Molly and this is Rocket Boom. It's the world's largest island on a lake, on an island, on a lake, on an island. Here is Vulcan Point, which may look like a small island, but it's the world's largest island in a lake on an island, in a lake on an island. Here now is the lake the island is on, on an island, on a lake on an island. This is the island the island and the lake are on. Here is the lake on the island that holds the island on a lake on an island. Here is the island, the lake that the lake on an island on a lake is on. And here is the lake that the island on a lake on an island on a lake on an island is on. And here is Richard Branson's new plane, which could travel in half of all of these places. It's the Virgin Necker Nymph, a new class of underwater exploration vehicles that flies like a plane through the sea down to 130 feet. Meant for Branson's guests to peruse the Caribbean marine around his private island in the sea, he hopes the technology will soon make it possible to travel to depths of over 35,000 feet. It's an umbrella without a canopy. Thanks to my sister for sending in news of the air umbrella, which is like using a magical wand to stay dry. A fan inside of the stick pushes air out of the top to create a rain-blocking force field, winning out of more traditional methods. From NASA, Space Shuttle Endeavour is prepared for its final year of operation, with a liftoff scheduled for February 7th. The 13-day flight from Cape Canaveral to the space station and back will include delivery of the Tranquility Node to help provide more living area. For de-orbit mode when falling out of the sky and crashing into the ocean? From JAXA, send your Valentine a love letter from space this February 14th via the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency's Wideband Internetworking Engineering Test and Demonstration Satellite Cloud. She'll love you for it, perhaps. Thanks to Brian Stillman for sending in news of a tool to deceive and slaughter. This black box is designed to perpetually sell itself on eBay. Just last week, the box sold itself for $6,500. It comes with an elaborate contract that the buyer must adhere to, essentially stating that the box must receive power and Wi-Fi to sell itself on eBay. Buyers beware, it sounds risky. Also a risky buy, you, me. For a yet-to-be-determined sum, users of the new Yumi platform will be able to relay commands to other users fitted with a Bluetooth headset and camera for the sake of a new kind of game, allowing the player to become someone else for a day. The buyer gets to make the demands and the bought gets share of the sales price. In May, we covered the New York Street Advertising Takeover, an initiative to reclaim New York's public spaces by whitewashing over illegal street-level advertising, allowing a seemingly fair way for artists to showcase their own works while improving neighborhoods. Well, the NYSAT project has just been updated with a new microsite as part of publicadcampaign.com, where you can find documentation, photos, video, maps, mission statements, and other information about the project. There's also links for donating to the cause, and anyone can report illegal signage to the NYC Department of Buildings and track the status of their complaints. This month, the US will introduce a plan to bring high-speed internet access to all Americans. Finally. With countries like Finland and France recently declaring internet access a basic human right, and all the other industrialized nations having some form of national policy for internet access, the US is the latest to jump on board. I'll see it when I believe it.